Yo, bad news. Devin Haney doesn't look like he's going to get an opportunity with T.O. Fimo. Despite the franchise champion, despite both being WBC champions, all the confusion, because T.O. Fimo says that he'll fight him, but Devin Haney got to earn his spot. We're going to talk about that. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Now, Tio Fimo, he's kind of been on his high horse. I made videos talking about that, and I'll continue to do so. Tio Fimo, he did an interview with Ak and Barak, and this is what he had to say. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll fight Devin Haney as long as Devin Haney keeps winning and actually fights opposition in the top 10 because he hasn't yet fought anyone top 10 in the lightweight division along with Gervonta Davis as well the only person who has stepped up against a top 10 contender who got dropped in the second round and got back up to win was Ryan Garcia these guys they've got to prove something the same way I had to prove myself to be able to fight Lomachenko for all the belts there ain't no handouts I'm not going to give them things I had to work hard for end quote so he's saying that Devin Haney ain't fighting enough people now this is laughable and ironic because the man is he's on his own wavelength right now we'll say it like that he's saying that so Tio Fimo is suggesting that Devin Haney and guys like Gervonta Davis haven't done enough at lightweight but Gervonta Davis makes more money than Tio Fimo. And I know that's not all there is to it, but he's generating ticket sales. He's generating ticket sales, right? He's He just did within a million dollars of what Canelo Alvarez did in Texas in the pandemic. This is Gervonta Davis. Look the numbers up. And Errol Spence outsold Canelo fight for fight, last fight versus last fight. Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, and Canelo versus Caleb Smith in comparison um, about a million dollars less in terms of the live gate was generated by Gervonta and Leo Santa Cruz in October and we know the art of business if you could sell you could sell like Jada said cause I'ma get bucks like Milwaukee cause like Sam I could sell I'm that nigga y'all know that <laughs> And now you got Tio Fibo saying that they haven't earned it. But what makes this more jovial and uh, laughable is we all know that Tio Fimo is in negotiations or likely to fight George Cambosos, a guy who is not a big name in America. He would have to go over to Australia to fight Cambosos. And so an American broadcaster, ESPN shipping an American champion over to Australia to fight a guy coming off of two split decision victories, which you could argue that he really lost. So let's let's fine tune this a bit. George Camboso's last fight was a split decision victory. I thought he lost. That was against Lee Selby. So while Teofimo Lopez is saying this, that, and the third about these guys need to earn their spot. We know there's politics in boxing because how does the IBF or whoever, I think it's the IBF mandatory, how do they have George Cambosos above, you know, Javier Fortuna and his last performance? You could really argue if you watch the fight from start to finish, you could argue he lost. Lee Selby is a career, I think, a featherweight, and he moved up over time moved up over time after losses and stuff moved up and George Cambosos at the very least barely got past him so he's earned his spot to be ranked and he's somehow ranked above whoever may be even doing better so it's politics just like top ranked Tyson Fury when they made the fight with Tom Schwartz or Ch Tom Schwartz and they yeah what are you doing Tom Schwartz and they like out of all the heavyweights, this was a ranked guy in two sanctioning bodies. So to say these other guys like Devin Haney, Ryan, well, he said Ryan Garcia fought Luke Campbell. But to say Devin Haney and Gervonta haven't earned their spot versus Luke Campbell, you know what I mean? Because they didn't fight a Luke Campbell or whoever he wants them to fight. Stop it. 
I, I don't know why Teofimo is 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 doing this and saying this. I don't know. Someone put a battery in his back, gassing him up and saying, hey, say this. Or maybe this is how he feels. But to me, this is just it's a bad look because it doesn't create an environment in the sport of boxing that makes it uh, fun for the fans to want to watch all the politics and diva like behavior like where you're you're really trying to bamboozle the people into believing that a Camboso's fight is also oh necessary but Gervonta ain't earned it because he fought Gamboa or Devin Haney even though he's a champion and you could completely rid all doubts on who's undisputed or or at the very least who's the real WBC champion despite all of that He's running with the narrative and saying that Devin Haney needs, I'll fight him, but he got to do more. I mean, it's just, what part of the game is this, bro? What part of the game is this? Devin Haney, people think he's good. You could show us otherwise if you could beat him. Devin Haney and the franchise champion, Teofimo, there's a lot of confusion. Fans are uncertain about who's who and there's too many belts in boxing there's three belts with the wbc alone in the lightweight division ryan garcia got a wbc interim devin haney got a full wbc belt and then teofimo has two wbc belts for whatever reason one of them being a franchise champion belt so you can eliminate all of this confusion barring the ryan garcia situation but you would establish an end-all be-all just like the movie highlander there can be only one but instead for whatever reason his talking point teofimo's talking point is haney must earn his shot and let's say that devin haney is the email champion let's say we'll fight devin haney for 10 million dollars like just fighters fighters don't always put out the the best interviews because i don't know if they're going off emotion you know there's a lot of emotion as a fighter they train hard discipline sacrifice taking a punt yeah you know there's a lot of emotion so sometimes you have fighters like what teofimo is doing and i don't know if it's really thought thought out what, what you're trying to get across but you're likely to fight george camboso to go into purse bid he's done everything even though he's coming off a of two split decision victories somehow he's ranked politics politics you know and Devin Haney who has a WBC champion and 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 to make this worse Teofimo keeps saying he's the people's champion you're the people's champion but I'm the people or at least I'm one of the people and I'm saying I would as a consumer rather you fight Gervonta Davis or Devin Haney and I would pay for it I'm not so much interested in the Cambosos fight right definitely you couldn't do that on like a pay-per-view or anything similar right and he's saying he's the people's champion but he's also backburnering better fighters or more accomplished fighters saying they haven't accomplished enough but he's likely to fight cambosos i mean if you can make that make sense leave me a comment and, and explain because it, it doesn't make sense and he's running around saying oh i'm undisputed I got all the bells, haha. Ha. It, it's like almost like immaturity, you know what I mean? Like na 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 boo boo, like some kind of game. Um, I I just don't know what it's doing for Teofimo's profile, right? Just to act like this, and then to top that off, okay, Devin Haney ain't done nothing. I'm just playing devil's advocate. This is not my opinion. Let's say Gervonta ain't done nothing. You shut them out. Why not fight Ryan Garcia? You said he fought a top 10 guy. Why fight Cambosos? That's one. Here's two. If we're going to suggest that Devin Haney ain't done nothing, why do you want $10 million to fight him? You see so many loopholes and inconsistencies in what's being said. You and your pops are on camera saying you wanted $10 million to fight Devin. So, Mr. I haven't done anything, Devin Haney, why would you want such a, you know, high amount? Why would you ever think you were going to get this type of excessive, exorbitant amount of money 
like $10 million in currency to fight a guy that you don't even think has proven anything. So something's cap about that. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense to have these crazy purse demands if the guy is not good or if the guy needs to prove more or his resume uh, doesn't allow for that. Why would you expect to get that that amount of money from a fight with a guy who has to fight so who hasn't fought anyone in the top 10? Where does that come from? Right. Finally, if we're going to say Devin Haney and Gervonta haven't done anything and somehow George Camboso has done everything he's needed to do, then you have to ask a few more questions. Namely this. You don't want to fight Devin Haney or Gervonta because they're not going to coattail you, even though Tank is the A side over you and Devin Haney probably makes more money. Like these, these are just the realities. Tio Fimo had to complain to Bob Arum to get more money in a undisputed or fake undisputed unification fight with Lomachenko. But lastly, if Devin ain't done nothing and Gervonta ain't done nothing, then guess what? What about fighting Lomachenko? This is the great guy that has done something and you're holding your whole argument mostly off of that fight. But you said you don't want to give him a rematch and you're moving on. So as you guys can see, this is an extremely bad look for Teofimo. So even playing devil's advocate, if Devin Haney and Gervonta haven't done with enough and fight top guys, your whole basis is saying, hey, I fought Lomachenko. So that's why I'm the A side, because I fought a quality fighter in Lomachenko. Lomachenko saying he wants a rematch and you're shooting that down. So Teofimo was kind of boxing himself in. OK, don't fight Devin Haney. Don't fight Javante Davis. Run that Lomachenko fight back. You know, this is the guy that made you into a star and A side and these types of things. So why can't you run the, the Loma fight back? And he also says he's not trying to do that. So Tank ain't done enough. Devin ain't done enough. And then the guy who put you on the map because you're saying I'm the A side and I had to fight a tough fight with Lomachenko and these guys didn't fight Lomachenko, even though we know there's politics there. You won't even run it back with Lomachenko. And he's aligned with your side. He's with top rank and he's saying he wants the rematch. So this all in all is not a good look. It's not a good look at all. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe to the next videos. I know. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Mm -hmm.